What need is there for any other scripture? As soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of Bhagavatam, see, attentively and submissively hears the Bhagavatam by this culture of knowledge, the Supreme Lord is established in the heart. Isn't that amazing? Simply by attentively hearing. See, so you got the book. Okay, you hear the real book. Prabhupada wrote the book and you hear it. Doesn't say read it really. It's good to read, but uh, attentively hearing that Srimad Bhagavatam. See, the Lord is established in the heart. What? He wakes up and established there. See, he's, he's dormant, wakes up, established now. See, and now when the Lord is established, you become a real qualified person, better than a Brahmin, because now you open your mouth and you chant these verses in all these devotional scriptures, whatever they are, and you can taste the bliss and the ecstasy. See, that's establishment of the Lord in the heart. Now you engage in pure devotional service and the Lord is continually awakening in your heart, giving you the special blessing and the special blessing goes out to the world. That's how auspicious this transcendental Lord is. That's what Maya tries to cover up all the time. See, keep people cripples. See, this is the uh, Lucifer, you know. That's why, you know, there's all these flaming swords around life. The book of life, you know, was kept by the book of life is the devotee, the living book. They give you the living word, man. If you listen to that word, you're going to come alive. Otherwise, the flaming swords are always trying to cover it up, man. Always, take, you know, chopping your head off. Flaming swords flying around. That's why, yeah, see, flaming swords are always going around. That's faith in those who are in illusion. That's faith in blind, blind leaders. You become a blind follower and a blind leader. You become the cheater and the cheated. See, the cheater and cheater. That's why you, you got to come and listen to the real Bhagavad. You got to hear it from the empowered devotee and then boom, you're set free. See, now you know what real life is. The Lord is established in your heart, right? This is a forever thing. Why would you give that up? When it's strong in you and you really get clear, listening a long time, and the Lord is established really strong and you, oh, I see, this is it, man. And then you go on chanting, you become a guru yourself. You become fixed like Narada Muni. He goes, what, what keeps him out of the Maya. He doesn't have any faith in it. He only has faith in substance. That is love of Krishna. That's all he just goes around, chants the holy name and relishes the ecstasy. And then what he does? He's not bewildered in Maya. He has no faith in Maya. Well, it's illusion. Why would you have faith in illusion and temporary things and all that stuff that comes and goes? He just like he just goes around and relishes the name, always going deeper into the into the pool of bliss and understanding and depth of it. You know, just happy forever in this, swimming in the transcendental potency of Krishna. Isn't that what we're doing? This is the door to that man. This is all. This is all you're going to get here. You want you want the door to swim in the transcendental potency? That's all here. That's what it's all about, man, woman. Swimming in the transcendental pose is all about that. This is the pool entrance. That's all. You know, you go to the pool and there's a little door there, you know, and there's a person sitting there that says, okay, pay your, pay your little price, go in the pool. <laughs> so all we are here. Hey, Amen. We're just the lifeguards, the guards of life. That's all. Come in the pool, swim in the pool. You want to swim in this pool of bliss? This is a, this you know only one door usually, right? Not a bunch of doors. They got one entrance. But you know, the, if there's an, you guys can become entrances, and there may be other entrances too. But you got to be an authorized lifeguard, you know, that that's working at the pool entrance there, so that you know take the people's money, whatever or they see, whatever it is, because we set the price. The price is. Oh, you come here, turn your cameras on, associate with the devotees, make friends with the devotees here. That's your price. You know, go through the purification. That's the price. And then you can swim in the pool 
more and more and more. That's it. Pool of bliss, pool of ecstasy.